Good morning, Facebook people. How are you this morning? I wonder how many people are on here looking around. What are you doing on Facebook today? Anyway, are you just scrolling through and seeing what everybody's doing? Are you prospecting for new clients or new team members? Are you in your secret Facebook groups doing things? Are you uh, posting pictures? What are you doing? What are you doing on Facebook today? I'm just curious. Tell me in the comments, what are you doing? When you get on Facebook in the morning, what is it that you do? Are you intentional with what you're doing? Do you go in to specifically market your business? Do you go in specifically to connect with people? Um, do you go in just to look at pictures? <laughs> oh my gosh, there goes my cat behind me. Great. <laughs> of course, that happens when I do Facebook Lives. Okay, so what am I talking about today? Hey, thanks for joining. So here's my topic today. You wouldn't worry so much about what people think about you if you knew this one thing, okay? How many of you worry about what other people are thinking about you? We, I think we all do that in the morning, you know? I'm getting ready this morning, I didn't want to do anything with my hair. It's kind of bushy and big, and it's not really the way I want it to be today. And I'm like, oh, if I do a Facebook Live, or if I meet with people today, what are they gonna think about my bushy hair today? Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Here's the bottom line, okay? Are you ready? You wouldn't worry so much about what people think about you if you knew how seldom they did. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. It is, uh, you wouldn't worry so much about what people think about you if you knew how seldom they did think about you. So I know for some of you guys, it rubs the ego the wrong way, right? Your ego might be going, but, but, but wait a minute. What do you mean people aren't thinking about me, right? It's all about me. <laughs> no, it isn't. People do, are not thinking about you. We're all going through our things in our lives, and we're not thinking about other people, okay? Except when they're at the top of our minds for some reason, okay? I know people that do Facebook Lives often, okay? I'm one of them. I know people that post things often, people that are um, very inspirational. I think about them a lot because when I go on Facebook, I see things that intrigue me. They, they make me think about them. So in your business, here's the problem, okay? People are always thinking that everybody's thinking about you and it's like, oh, they're not calling me. They haven't called me. They haven't gotten in touch with me. You know, they, they're, they're not getting back to me. Well, I'm telling you things are happening in their life, right? So here's the thing. How do you keep top of mind with people? And your clients okay so usually when I'm talking about these topics I'm focusing on businesses so let's say you have a business you're an entrepreneur you have products or services or you have team members with your business whatever it is how do you keep in touch with them how do you keep in on top of mind so they are thinking about you but not in a way that you're puking all over Facebook with your stuff okay so here's the thing. Think about building a relationship with someone, taking care of them, sending them a quick message once in a while, sending them a card in the mail, something to get them to think about you, but when you're not marketing to them, okay? There's a fine line there. So here's what I do. So in the mornings, this is kind of my morning routine, or I'll do it um, later at night, but usually in the morning is when I'm having my coffee or my tea, and I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I'm finding some cool pictures. I see all the pictures, especially on Mondays, because at the end of a weekend, people went to the fair this week. They're posting pictures of the Sonoma County Fair and all the things that they did that weekend. Some people went to the beach. Um, there were parties. There were all kind of things going on, right? So people are posting these pictures of things that are important to them in their lives, okay? They want people to see what's going on in their life. So you know what I do? I right-click on the picture because any of the pictures you post on Facebook, those are pictures that are important to you, right? They're important to you and people, they're, they're pictures you want to share. But how many people print them out? Not very many people print those pictures out, right? So I want to make somebody feel really super special and surprise them. I'm all about mystery. I'm going to write my mystery marketing book. You know, I know I've been saying that for like two years. Anyway, I want to surprise somebody and make and do something really nice for them for only one reason, to do something nice for them. 
but it's going to keep me top of mind in the long run. So here's an example. So someone took this picture of me with Ivan Meisner from BNI. Someone, um, one of the, these are some people on a team that I'm on, and one of them took our picture and and it was on Facebook, and they randomly just sent this to me. Um, I had somebody else. Where's another one? So I sent this to my sister. You know, we, I met my sister right here, Kathy, for the first time a little, just about a year ago. And I, this was a picture of us where we first met. And, of course, we put it all over Facebook. And I took the picture, and I put it on the front of a greeting card. So these are greeting cards that I can make in about 30 seconds. So I go on Facebook, I find some cool pictures of people. A lot of times if they're with their kids or their pets, those are the most fun, like this one. This is my um, brother-in-law, my new sister, and their dog, Max. They just had to put him down the other day. It was so sad. Coolest dog on the planet. This was one of my favorite pictures. And, of course, we had it on Facebook. I took this when they lost their dog, and they had to put, a, put poor Max down. And I put it on the front of the card, and I sent him the card put a nice little note, some other stuff on here, and sent that to him. So my favorite, favorite tool for keeping top of mind with people is send out cards. I love it. It's funny because the business completely switched into a new company in April, and I'm completely addicted to sending cards. I can send as many cards as I want for free, includes postage to anyone anywhere, anywhere in the world. So I have a friend in Turkey. I'm going to send him a card and a friend in India. So anyway, bottom line, if you wouldn't worry so much about what other people thought about you, if you knew how seldom they did, so how do you keep in touch with them? Do nice things for them. Send them cards and gifts. Send them nice messages. Tell them you're thinking about them, but don't be selling them. Please stop selling them. Just send a cool card in the mail. Tell somebody you care about them. On the back of the card, you can brand it with your stuff. If they want to know more about what you're doing with your business, they'll contact you. But do this. Honestly, it is the best thing to do. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to sendoutcards.com forward slash Sue Brooke. I'll put it in the comments or someone would do that. That'd be awesome. Sendoutcards.com forward slash Sue Brooke. All small letters. Click send card. Go send a free card to someone you care about right now. And it's free. And please go do that. And uh, get your free account and just start sending some love to people. Keep top of mind. And I promise you, if you do these things, specifically to take care of people and make them happy and surprise them and make them smile and feel good. A, you're going to change the world because everybody's going to be happier. B, if you want to grow your business, you're going to be the first person that comes to people's minds when they're thinking about that. All right. Does that make sense? Hi, Richard. Good to see you all the way from Las Vegas. Um, then, yes. Can you add Revelio to his car? Yes. Revealio, I'm just going to throw this out there really quick because I really don't want to do long videos, but um, Revealio is where you can make your business card or your flyer or your logo come alive with augmented reality. And yes, Richard, I put my, um, uh, let me see if I can find one of my cards. I don't have any that I sent myself. These are all cards other people sent to me. Um, on the back of the card, my business card actually comes alive with the Revealio app. Coolest thing on planet. So you can do a lot of things with the cards. But anyway. My bottom line is, my message today is this, stay top of mind with your clients, but do it because you care about them. You're doing nice things for them. Send cards and gifts. Please go to sendoutcards.com forward slash Sue Brooke. Send a free card to someone you care about, please. And then contact me if you want a strategy on how to use this system. It is the best follow-up relationship marketing system anywhere. There's nothing like it, I promise you. And it's new. So if you heard it, send out cards in the past, it is a completely different company. I would love to chat with you about it. And I'm looking for team members that want to work with me to help get the word out about this amazing business as well. So anyway, awesome, awesome day. I hope you guys are having. Thank you so much for being here. I'm looking at all the people that are on. Thank you. Hi, hi, hi. I'm going to get off of here. I don't want to do a long one. So please get in touch with me. And you know what? If nothing else, let's just talk about your business. My favorite thing. Okay. See you guys. Bye.